What's going on, BatmanOnFilm.com? Peter Bear here at New York Comic Con with Courtney Taylor and Mojan Marno. Oh, <laughs> First try. First time. Well uh, <laughs> Dr. Cyber and Dr. Poison. What is it like playing two more villains in this movie? Glorious. Glorious? Mm -hmm. I only like to play bad people. Mm -hmm. um, would you say that, there, are, are you concerned that there's too many villains in the movie? Swan, <laughs> you two, no? No. no. <laughs> uh, like female villains, bring them on more. More, more, girl, more. girl power all the way, huh? Yeah, I mean, There's nobody. More to fight. And There's also, more nobody says that about a, a male-centric movie. Like, hey, do you think there's too many bad guys? It's like, there's just good and evil, and it's carried out and perfectly. It's more for Wonder Woman to fight against. Right? Yes, exactly. How, how, how did you come up with the voices for your characters? Was there anything that inspired you? Did you try to create some kind of special tone or anything? Um, when I came in uh, for the role, we talked about doing a uh, sort of German accent and that she was a little bit creaky. So we kind of worked it out in the booth, actually. Are I didn't German get to. Uh, it's, it's a smidge. Is it because Germans are so it's evil? Smidgy? Because they have kind of a no. bad rap from a certain. I don't war? know. They just said do an accent. I mean, you it was. Can, an, no. You just randomly. No. German. No, we did work it out. Uh, my director and her director, Wes Gleason, uh, a director extraordinaire. Um, we worked it out while I was there, and uh, Sam and James chimed in a little bit, and we tweaked it, and away we went. Did you guys go back to source material to just dig deeper on the characters? Did you look at the, the movie Wonder Woman and get inspired from Dr. Poison and that? What was, what was the background that went into just full-fletching into these characters? I just went in and recorded my character. I did not read the comics. Mm -hmm. I uh, I went and saw the actually on the internets. There's um, uh, the night that the Wonder Woman movie opened a couple of years ago. I can't. Uh, there was like 90 of us that mm -hmm. all there were a bunch of voice actors. We all got together and uh, uh, went and saw it at the ArcLight in uh, Los Angeles. And so I saw it the opening night. It was fantastic. I went and saw it again with my nephews. So I knew uh, I knew from the that movie, but the her source material is kind of all over the place. Like mm -hmm. she's had a lot of different yeah. iterations. I, mean, I watched so. the like eighties television show with what was her name, Linda, Linda Carter, Carter, Carter. Yes. Linda Carter. I have a picture of me and Linda Carter on my no. phone. I do, I, I do. So, so I watched that. So yes. it's safe to say you grew when up as a Wonder Woman fan? Oh, for sure. Oh my God, I so. I did a little game called Fallout 4, and uh, Linda Carter is actually in Fallout 4. <gasps> and when we w did the uh, the uh, drop night party, uh, I was like, I have to meet her. I have to meet her. Uh, and so they brought her over to me, and she was totally like, like, oh hi, nice to meet you. And I was like, N -n 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 -n. and my friend like chased her, and I was like, no, you have to take a photo with my friend. So I have a, a picture where I'm like, my face is cracking off with joy, and she's like. Because I probably am holding her hand just a little too tightly. But She's yeah, great. I loved her. How excited are you for the release of this film? It's been nine years since a solo animated Wonder Woman movie. How, how great is it to be a part of this? I'm excited. I think it's really great to be a part of this. I'm super, I, I think that this whole franchise is amazing. Um, and I love being able to be a teeny part of it. I, you know, loved Wonder Woman since I was a little kid. Yeah. So any part that I can have. Um, and I'm totally lobbying for a, like, Dr. Poison origin story, I mean, just standalone. I mean, super important, right? Like, yeah. there were 10,000 male superheroes, and then we had one. I mean, I remember there just was, like, He-Man and She-Ra. She-Ra, mm -hmm. I remember being, like, yeah. blown away by after right. I watched He-Man forever, and then there was right. She-Ra. And the same thing with Wonder Woman. It's like, you get, you get a chance to see yourself in a story. Fun fact, and I'm going to just, uh, I, here's the thing, with superhero movies, live action movies, I'm always like, God, there's so much, like, there's a lot of special effects, which are amazing, and a lot of fighting. And it was so interesting to watch uh, Wonder Woman, because I was like, oh, the fighting doesn't bother me. It doesn't seem like it's too long or anything like that. And I walked away from it being like, I wonder if, because she's a woman, and she's fighting like I am having the experience that boys have had the whole Where time of like being like I'm it. that. Yeah. yeah, I could be that. Yeah, you put yourself Where in the, the when I'm the when I'm looking at Batman and stuff, I'm not relating as much on some level. And to be able to see a woman doing it, I was like, oh, this is like really interesting. And uh, yeah, there was that sort of transference, if you yeah. will. Yeah. Um, so I wonder if that's. Uh, I'm sure it's going to have a great effect on young girls. Um, to see more and more of these things, She-Ra, you know, getting, getting an animated series and all that kind of stuff, 
that uh, how girls will grow up with these yeah, things being so mainstream important. entertainment. It's incredibly important. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to the film. I can't wait to see it. Thank you for your time. Thank it's you. been a blast. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Thank you.